The Calvert County, Maryland Commissioner's Reports is a headline news podcast provided in part by the Calvert County Department of Communications and Media Relations. Commissioner's Reports provides highlights from the Calvert County Board of County Commissioners, county government departments, and key government agencies. Commissioner's Reports covers regional happenings affecting Calvert County citizens, news, and upcoming events. Hello, and thank you for tuning in to Commissioner's Reports. I'm your host, Ursel Placide. This week of April 5th, 2021 in local government news. Maryland has now moved into phase 2A of state vaccination plan, which expands eligibility to Marylanders ages 16 and older. As of Tuesday, April 6th, all Marylanders 16 and older are eligible to get vaccinated at state mass vaccination sites. By next Monday, April 12th, all Marylanders 16 and older will be able to schedule appointments and be vaccinated through all providers. Currently, the Pfizer vaccine is the only vaccine authorized for those aged 16 and 17. Locally, vaccination is being given by the Calvert County Health Department and Calvert County Health Medical Center, which are using names from the county registry to schedule appointments. Some local pharmacies have vaccine clinics available. Each has its own separate registration and includes Walgreens in Lusby and Prince Frederick, Safeway in Dunkirk and Prince Frederick, Giant and CVS in Dunkirk. Calvert Internal Medicine and Calvert Medical Group currently have very limited doses for patients. Regency Stadium in Charles County and Six Flags in Prince George's County are regional vaccination sites managed by the state of Maryland. Citizens can pre-register for state vaccination sites at onestop.md.gov forward slash pre-registration. As a reminder, the pre-vaccination registration portal is still available on the Calvary County government website. For those citizens who have not pre-registered yet, you only need to pre-register once. Those citizens who have pre-registered with the county but have received their vaccination elsewhere are asked to contact the call center at 410-535-0218 to remove their name from the county's list. Residents are also reminded not to share appointment scheduling links. Calvert County continues to share the latest updates surrounding our county's response to COVID-19, including precautionary measures, guidance, and closures through our virtual resource center. Updates can also be found on the county's Facebook page and Comcast, Channel 6 or 1070 HD. Calvert County Public Schools has modified capacity of outdoor athletic events. As of March 22nd, athletes are now allowed up to four guests, which includes siblings for home games only. Northern High School is limited seating to three guests. All guests must be seated together. Visiting athletes are permitted up to two guests. Names of guests must be provided in advance of any game for admittance. The Maryland State Board of Education approved a recommendation to postpone this spring's state assessments until the fall. There was no meeting for the Calvert County Board of Commissioners this week. A busy agenda coming up next week with the Board of Agenda items including Proclamations for Autism Awareness Month and Telecommunicators Week. Employee Recognition Committee recognizes an Employee of the Month. Appointment considerations for the Social Services Advisory Board, Gambling Permit Review Committee, and the Sheriff's Office Pension Plan Board of Trustees. A Consent Calendar for CARES Act Agreement. Award recommendations related to medical care program for inmates and floor covering removal and installation. A memo from Human Resources Director Melanie Woodson regarding the Department of Human Resources Employee Retirement Savings Plan Amendment. Sheriff's Office Pension Plan Amendment and Health Insurance Plan Policy for Retirees and a work session on revisions of cost to service fees for the Department of Planning and Zoning. The next regularly scheduled meeting is Tuesday, April 13th at 10 a.m. Meetings can be viewed live at calvertcountymd.gov forward slash meetings or on Comcast Channel 6 or 1070 HD. In other local Calvert County news, Calvert County volunteer boards and commissions are accepting positions on the Housing Authority of Calvert County. Huntingtown Architectural Review Committee, Lusby Town Center Architectural Review Committee, St. Leonard Architectural Review Committee, and Dunkirk Town Center Architectural Review Committee. All position openings can be viewed online at calvertcountymd.gov. Search Volunteer Boards and Commissions. Calvert County Government Offices have relocated from the County Services Plaza at 150 Main Street. The Department of Planning and Zoning, including the Office of Inspections and Permits and the Calvert County Environmental Health Department, is now located at 205 Main Street in Prince Frederick. The Department of Public Works Water and Sewage Billing Office has now relocated to the Harriet E. Brown Community Center at 901 Dares Beach Road in Prince Frederick. The Water and Sewage Customer Service Office is now located in the Community Resources Building at 30 Duke Street in Prince Frederick. 
Calvert County government buildings remain closed to the public until further notice for the safety of citizens and staff as a preventative measure to help slow the spread of COVID-19. The Calvert County Courthouse is currently operating under Phase 4 operations. In Phase 4, courts are open to the public and will resume non-jury trials and contested hearings in criminal, civil, family, and juvenile matters. Jury trials will resume beginning April 26, 2021. April is National Autism Awareness Month. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, estimates that an average of 1 in 68 children in the United States has an autism spectrum disorder, ASD. According to the group Autism Speaks, 1 in 54 children and 1 in 45 adults are on the autism spectrum. There are varying degrees of severity and can cause significant social, communication, and behavior challenges and could present safety risks or increase of chances of first responder encounters. Residents in Calvert County may shine blue lights at their homes to help raise awareness of autism. The Calvert County Sheriff's Office supports the growing needs of those on the autism spectrum and is dedicated to the safety and inclusion of Calvert County citizens. Earth Day gives citizens a chance to do some good for our environment and society. Join Calvert County Parks and Recreation to celebrate Earth Day on April 22nd at one of the three district parks from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Enjoy crafts and activities in celebration of our wonderful planet. Free registration is required through WebTrack using activity number 490-334 for Section A, Dunkirk Park, Section B, Hollowing Point Park, or Section C, Cove Point Park. Social distancing guidelines will be followed and wearing masks is required. In celebration of Earth Day, meet Calvert County's new recycling ambassador, Appeal Dow. When the value of recycling is on trial, Appeal Dow is here to make the case for recycling's environmental and economic impacts. Watch the latest public service announcement produced by Calvert Broadcast with the Department of Public Works, Solid Waste, and Recycling Division, starring actors from our local community on the Calvert Broadcast Instagram page, at Calvert Broadcast. After watching, follow our channel and share the video for a chance to win a 3D printed replica of Appeals glasses, made with earth-friendly recycled and hemp plastics. Don't wait, the giveaway ends Friday, April 23rd. A recycled tote bag giveaway will also take place during the week of Earth Day. The tote bag, created by Solid Waste and Calvert County Schools, is sponsored by Chess Packs and local grocery stores. Additional COVID-19 relief funding for food service and hospitality businesses is now available through the Maryland Relief Act. For application opening dates, eligibility requirements, and more information, visit calvertcountymd.gov forward slash COVID-19 relief fund. And to learn more about the Maryland Relief Act, visit governor.maryland.gov forward slash relief act. Emergency financial assistance to help with housing expenses and utility bills is still available for residents experiencing financial hardship due to the coronavirus pandemic. Calvert County citizens can apply for emergency funding to help cover rent, utilities, home energy costs, arrears, and other housing expenses resulting from the pandemic. Financial assistance is available through the Federal Emergency Rental Assistance Program, Maryland Energy Assistance Program, Electric Universal Service Program, and the Electric and Gas Retirement Assistance Program. Residents having difficulty paying their energy bills are urged to contact their energy provider immediately, as both SMECO and BGE have flexible payment options and grant assistance available to prevent disconnection of service. SMECO customers can call 1-888-440-3311, and BGE customers should call 1-800-685-0123 to speak with a customer care representative. For more information on available pandemic resources, visit Calvert County's online COVID-19 Virtual Resource Center at calvertcountymd.gov forward slash coronavirus and tap or click local resources for citizens. The Calvert County Department of Public Safety, Animal Control Division, and the Calvert County Health Department are sponsoring a free drive through rabies clinic on Saturday, April 10th from 10 a.m. to 12 noon at Huntingtown High School, 4125 Solomon's Island Road. This is an open-air clinic. Individuals must remain in their vehicles and face coverings must be worn. Proof of prior rabies vaccination is required to receive a three-year vaccine. The Linda L. Kelly Animal Shelter animal population is currently 65, which includes dogs, cats, pigs, rabbits, and one cow. Foster care will help some of the younger animals to grow in a healthy environment. Dedicated foster homes make a positive impact on many animals who need basic care. If you would like to become an animal foster parent, visit the website at calvertcountyanimalshelter.com. The shelter is an open admission facility in Prince Frederick that provides compassionate, humane care and treatment to the shelter population and responsibly rehomes animals into the community. 
A new speed camera will be placed at 12680 H.G. Truman Road in Lusby, Maryland, near Dowell Elementary. The Calvert County Sheriff's Office, on behalf of the Safety for Students Speed Enforcement Program, will assist with the automated enforcement camera to be activated Monday through Friday from 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. Camera activation is year-long, including holidays and summer recess. The Solid Waste Division announces speed bumps will be installed at the following convenience centers for the safety of citizens and employees. Ball Road, Barstow, Huntingtown, Mount Hope, and Plum Point Convenience Centers are expected to be completed by April 30th. Citizens are advised to use caution when driving through all convenience centers. The Department of Parks and Recreation Natural Resources Division advises residents and visitors that the Solomon's Boat Ramp and Fishing Pier parking lot will be temporarily closed for an estimated seven days of milling, repaving, and striping beginning on or around April 12th. Work will be conducted on weekdays only and access to the boat ramp and fishing pier will be restricted during portions of the parking lot closure. Solomon's Boat Ramp and the Fishing Pier is located at 14195 Solomon's Island Road South in Solomon's, Maryland. Breezy Point Beach and Campground will open May 1st to residents and non-residents. Vehicle traffic will be limited to 250 vehicles or 50% of regular vehicle capacity. Breezy Point Blast Off is Saturday, May 15th, 2021 from 5 to 9 p.m. Enjoy free admission to Breezy Point Beach for the day. Family games and activities from 6 to 8 p.m. with a fireworks display at dark. Reserve your spot today at WebTrack using activity number 15001. This event for all ages is for Calvert County residents only. Social distancing guidelines will be enforced and attendees must wear face masks when not seated with their group. Food trucks and concessions will not be available. The inaugural Calvert County Parks and Recreation Pickleball Tournament will be Saturday, May 1st and Sunday, May 2nd. Games will be held at the Halloween Point Park and Cove Point Park. Events will consist of women's and men's doubles on Saturday and mixed doubles on Sunday. Players must register through WebTrack by April 16th. Proceeds from the tournament benefit the Thurman Gray Memorial Scholarship. Calvert County Parks and Recreation operates the tournament. To stay up to date on the recreation services, availability, field closures, and more, visit facebook.com forward slash Calvert County Parks. The Department of Planning and Zoning held a virtual public meeting on March 31st where nearly 40 citizens participated via Zoom and over 1,200 viewed the meeting live on Facebook. Delegate Rachel Jones joined live and expressed that her aide would be attending the public meetings to keep the delegate updated on the Prince Frederick Master Plan process. Prince Frederick Master Plan consultant presented the Planning Commission's draft recommended land use plan and other ideas for land use and transportation for inclusion in the draft master plan. The meeting was recorded and can be viewed on the county's website, Facebook, and YouTube channel. Visit calvertcountymd.gov forward slash town center update for further details and information. The Calvert Alliance Against Substance Abuse, Inc. is sponsoring Calvert County Prescription Medication Take Back Day, Saturday, April 24th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Remove unused and expired medications from your home. Free medication drug disposal tickets will be available to deactivate prescriptions. Limit three packets per family while supplies last. Prevention, treatment, and recovery information will also be available. No questions asked. Participating locations include Calvert County Sheriff's Office, Maryland State Police, Barrack U, Harriet E. Brown Community Center in Prince Frederick, Northeast Community Center in Chesapeake Beach, and Southern Community Center in Lusby. The Town of North Beach Department of Public Works is raising awareness to encourage North Beach residents to lend a hand in clearing vegetative obstructions to create safe and accessible streets, sidewalks, and alleyways for all users in the public right-of-way. The goal of the campaign is to help educate property owners of their responsibility in keeping the public right-of-way clear of excessive vegetation that is obstructing a pathway. Pick up a guide at the North Beach Post Office, and for more information, visit northbeachmd.org. Join the College of Southern Maryland for a virtual open house on April 22nd, 2021 from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. via Zoom. Learn about degree programs, continuing education, transfer opportunities, and more. Hear from students, professors, and leadership to see what makes CSM the right choice for reaching your educational goals. The Anne Marie Sculpture Garden and Arts Center is hosting the Fairy and Gnome Home Festival, Sunday, April 18th from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. If you are a SNAP card holder, you may receive discount tickets and must reserve them in advance. Limit four tickets per family and your ID and SNAP card must be shown at the admission gate. Discount tickets for SNAP card holders are part of the Museums for All programs. The Calvert County Marine Museum Summer Camps 2021 registration is now open. 
The four-day camps will feature two days of in-person activities and two days of virtual participation with at-home activity kits. Calvert Marine Museum has developed camps to keep participants and staff safe during the ongoing health crisis. For further information and camp details, visit calvertmarinemuseum.com or contact Melissa McCormick at 410-326-2042. As we head into the weekend weather, we can expect it to be overcast and rainy. Tonight, mostly cloudy skies with scattered showers, lows around 53, and chances of rain at 40%. Saturday, mostly cloudy skies and more scattered showers with highs around 71 degrees and a 20% chance of rain. Sunday, partly cloudy skies with showers likely with a high around 75 with a 60% chance of rain and a low of 52 degrees. As we work together to limit the spread of COVID-19, please remember to follow simple precautions. Limit unnecessary travel and gatherings. Observe social distancing. Wear a mask in public when indoors or unable to socially distance outdoors. And stay home when you're sick. Thank you for continuing to do your part to keep yourself healthy and to safeguard the lives and livelihoods of our neighbors. That concludes our broadcast. Commissioner's Reports is a headline news podcast brought to you weekly by the Calvert County Department of Communications and Media Relations. Stay current with other news in Calvert County by following and liking the Calvert County Government Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Calvert County MD and our official website, www.calvertcountymd.gov. Join us next Friday for another shareable headline episode of Commissioner's Reports. Thank you. <laughs>